sort that out. Whatever that was. Ah. Uh. <coughs> yeah. Tiny sneeze. Hmm. Right. Tackle. Of course you get a critical hit. Right. Um, Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Fun fact. Um, bug types and uh, are, are weak to um, poison type moves in this generation. Uh, um, I mean, stop scratching yourself. You're shaking. Anyway. Um, are weak to poison type. Are weak to the poison type in this generation. Uh, but they removed it. Um, some people think it's a, a like... Uh, it's like a clever thing, like linking how two insects can adapt and evolve to withstand poison. You, yeah, if you're gonna do it, go down and down and do it. So I don't know if that was their intention, but if it was, it's pretty cool. Oh. Come on! This isn't very fair, but I'm just gonna have to... This is the laziest way to pad out a Pokemon game, is to just have a Kuna spamming Harden. Got leech seed. Oh, leech seed toxic glitch. I can do that. Uh, if you didn't know, in generation one, leech seed and toxic would stack to wreck every house in your neighborhood. Of course, I get poison. I just uh, throwing it out to get some XP. Uh, and the, the, apart from, um, I think there's uh, only two or three po three star Pokemon that have a dual uh, type at type at the beginning of their evolutionary line. That is, um, there's Bulbasaur and uh, um, Mudkip is in water ground, but I think Marsh Dump is. Uh, uh, yeah, and the. Uh, I think there's one more. Anyway, back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, yeah, and I forgot about poison knocking out your Pokemon while you're outside the battle. Which really doesn't make sense because um, when they're in a Pokeball, they're basically being kept in like a status-like thing, so it doesn't really make sense how when they're in status they can be killed or knocked out or whatever. Mm. Wild Catapi. One. Oh, item. Antidote. I'm not going to be going out of my way to get any items. And this uh, ends when I get to the, um, when I beat the Elite Four. Why did I keep you in? Gust. Oh, 
And again I get poisoned. Let's just get through here. Of course you get a critical hit, because why not? And another critical hit! Right, here's the thing about this game. Critical hits and random, they are dependent on the Pokemon's speed. Which can be really annoying, especially when you're battling a fast Pokemon. And another crit. Yeah, I can't really win this now, because he got three critical hits. And that's not, that's not adding to the difficulty. That's just making it uh, frustrating and annoying. Imagine if this, imagine if they put that, mecha that mechanic in Sun and Moon. People would be pissed. And another critical hit. And another critical hit! Yeah, Diglett and Dugtrio and, uh, are two of the uh, most reliable Pokemon for getting critical hits. Hmm. I got a critical hit for once. Yeah, oh, there we go, I'm level 10. Oh, no, I forgot about that. Right. Um, in Gen 1, you win it to, uh, when you get enough XP to go past uh, more than one level, you go straight past, uh, so say you had enough XP to go from level 5 to 8, you would skip, you would just uh, skip um, 6 and 7 and go straight to 8. And the, the, the oh, why am I spamming the seed? Anyway. The uh, downside to that is um, any moves you would have gotten by level up in between those in between those levels, you will never get. They're gone for good. 